Good evening, you're watching the 7 o'clock news. I'm Shogun Mohammed. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Order 15 of 2018, establishing the King Hamad World Center for Peaceful Coexistence, which will be affiliated with the Royal Courts. His Majesty the King issued Royal Order 16 of 2018, forming the Board of Trustees of the King Hamad World Center for Peaceful Coexistence. Chaired by Khalifa bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the newly established panel will have 10 members who will serve for a four year renewable term. The appointed Board of Trustees members are Betsy Bennett Matheson Abdurrahman, Saleh Yusuf Ibrahim Abdulaziz Al Joder, Ibrahim Dawood Ibrahim Nunu, Samir Sadiq Mohammed Al Baharna, Shahnaz Jabar Haj Jamal, Christopher Martin Bott, Kamala Balin, and Majid Mohsen Al Asfour, in addition to two other members. His Majesty also issued Royal Order 17 of 2018, appointing Dr. Mohammed Tahir Al Gattan as Secretary General of the King Hamad World Center for Peaceful Coexistence while keeping his current position. First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Honorary President of the Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa witnessed the examination of the weight of the participants of the 10th edition of the Brave Championship that is held in Jordan, including 22 fighters representing 14 countries. Present were members of the technical and administrative bodies and a number of media representatives from Arab and international countries, as well as fans of the sports. His Highness Sheikh Khalid hailed the competition among fighters, which reflected their keenness to deliver the best performance levels. His Highness said he expects the championship in its 10th edition to deliver strong fights, and added he will announce the name of the featherweight hero. He also said that he had noticed a great challenge and strong serious preparations for the championship by the fighters. His Highness affirmed that this championship comes in line with his vision to tour the sport around the world, enhancing the Bahraini experience and highlight its success in the sport. He extended thanks for the support of the wise leadership and the youth and sports sector and the efforts of the personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in implementing the leadership's directives in which it led to making further accomplishments that enhance the status of the kingdom on the international level. His Highness then expressed thanks to the Jordanian official bodies for their cooperation to host the championship and wish the participants for their success. It's, uh, for me, it's a milestone. It is achieving the biggest step for Middle East MMA. We built mixed martial arts as a sport through Brave in Bahrain. And now it's a, it's a national sport. It's a culture of Bahrain. Uh, but the most important thing is 
it is a sport that Arabs always loved. They've been following for a long time and they didn't have it for the past two, two to three years. And uh, to bring it to Jordan, where it started from, where mixed martial arts in the Middle East started from Jordan, and uh, they just didn't have the platform for the past three years and they've been waiting for it. And uh, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad al-Khalifa decided to take that platform that we built in Bahrain and bring it to Jordan.